Hello everybody, Hassan here from Galaxy Invest. Just a reminder, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. So just a few notes before we get into today's video. I hope everyone had a great, great long weekend. It's just Monday still, so hopefully everyone had you know, a lot of time to relax, spend time with your family. It's very, very important, right? To just uh, sometimes just relax, you know, just try to step back and sort of you know, look at the bigger picture of things uh, that's going on in your life and and that's what I tweeted the, the other day I said you know hopefully you guys have time to research and put 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 some time into learning something new right during this long weekend right on top of just like relaxing with your family and friends uh, very very important right especially during this pandemic that's been very very hard for many people especially singles uh, and even you know couples without kids um, being at home you know it's it's very very hard to be uh you know especially during this long weekend very 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 hard to be alone at home and uh during these times so hopefully you guys had some great great uh, great some uh, great time outside great sunshine i know i did so hopefully you guys did as well so t in today's video i wanted to cover this article here published um just uh, a few days ago and this is in PubMed. Uh, dot gov and it was uh, published by our friends at um, CRISPR articles Twitter handle and basically the title of this article is uh, an updated review of the current achievement applications and future research perspectives and you know you can uh, I'll link this article in the description so hopefully you guys will take some time to read it um, but I do believe it's important to review these types of uh, research articles. Again, there's new research articles being published almost every day, covering from human therapeutics all the way to like animals slash plants slash bacteria, fungal, and so on. So there's always new research papers, but this one in particular, I think it's important to look at the macro level of things, not be specifically focused on a particular company or even in a particular technology in gene editing, right? We, we talked about previously where, uh, you know, CRISPR therapeutics, Antilia editas and so on, they're basically tackling the gene editing in vivo, ex vivo approach um, through Cas9 and so on. But there's other companies such as Beam Therapeutics, they're basically covering the same type of things, but through base editing, right? Well, not really the same type of thing, that they're trying to tackle, but just know that they're using a different, slight different technology. And that's to us, to the, the naked eye, to someone that's not really informed, it doesn't look like a big deal. But in the space, it's like night and day, right? Base editing is it's very different, right? It's like, you know, it's if I was to tell you um, a specific, it's the same story in Tesla, right? You have these battery technologies, right? And just changing the structure and changing the way um, the, the batteries being used in, in the electrical vehicles um, industry. Uh, that's a big, big move, right? We're talking about cost, we're talking about efficiencies, we're talking about safety. It's way different, right? So it's the same concept here. So just keep that in mind as we dive into this paper. And again, this, this paper here was published a few days ago, so feel free to look into it. A few notes here before I even dive uh, deeper into the body of the paper is I had it in some points here. I went over the paper obviously before the video. Uh, some of the interesting points here is that this was a group of researchers, right? And it's not from one particular university slash country. It's from different universities, right? You see France, Israel, Sketch Republic, India. Very, very interesting, right? These are the type of things you want to look out for. And whenever you try to research a particular paper, a particular topic, you want to see who are the researchers, maybe not specifically, you know, their background and their uh, experience slash, you know, um, resume, but perhaps look at where these papers are being um, developed, who's the big quote unquote sponsors. Very, very important, right? We know India has a huge, huge population and we know they have a huge, huge problem with poverty, right? And CRISPR therapeutics is very, very important for them to look into it, not just for their own population, not just because they have the over 2 billion uh, people in the nation, but also with everything to do with animals, slash vegetation, slash plants. We'll take a look at uh, the type of applications in this paper. 
So let's just scroll down here again. I'll just point out some point um, and we'll, we'll see how far we can go with this. Um, so over here in the abstract, you know, you always want to read this part, very important. And I highlight here, they talk about future applications of CRISPR Cas will provide benefits for everyone and will save countless lives. Big, big statement, right? Just one statement, statement, boom, saying we'll save countless lives, right? This is something we've been reiterating in our previous videos. You know, what's the value you want to put on, right? You know, there's many companies out there solving big, big problems, right? You see Tesla with climate change. We see, we see other companies tackling different industries and verticals, but you know, which company is tackling this particular issue where you have many, many diseases in humans, animals, vegetation slash plants. Uh, and this is, this is a big, 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 uh, unlock, right? This is something you really, really want to put some time into and try to get, wrap your head around it, right? Cause it's so big, right? Um, you see here they, they talk about, um, the application of this system is endless, right? Very interesting, right? Curing cancer, metabolic disorder, genetic disease. Very important, right? This is this is stuff that we we've mentioned in the past, but when you see a type of paper, just like really being bold, right, with their statement, uh, it's that it's not just for humans, but also for crops. We're looking at uh, different um, the global food demands, right? Global hunger is a very very important topic. And Cas9, a CRISPR Cas9 can definitely address those. Definitely, 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 no doubt to it. And this is what they basically reiterated in their the abstract of this paper. So now, as we scroll down here, they're going over the history of of Cas9, the CRISPR, um, specifically then with Cas9. I won't bore you guys with that this much info. Again, the paper will be put in the description. So highly advise you guys, especially guys, some of you guys I know um, are very, very um, scientific and you are involved with this field. So please feel free to look into this paper um, and even leave a comment, right? Whatever you think, if, you know, is very, very important from this paper, from other papers, right? Uh, do link me other papers. I'm always willing to read papers, put some time into. You guys know, you know, we, I have a very, very open mind about this, this field, you know, not just for CRISPR therapeutics, not just for companies like CRISPR therapeutics and Antilia, Editas, Beam therapeutics, but other companies, right? We talk about repair therapeutics based in Montreal and so on. So I'm very, very open. Feel free to, uh, to let me know on, on some of those papers that, you know, will be worth uh, discussing about. So as we scroll down here, let's take a look here. Again, this is, uh, they're going through, you know, the whole CRISPR adaption step, you know, what is cloud type one, type two system they'll talk about. Uh, I don't think I want to bore you guys with this information. Again, this is very, very important, right? Type one, type two, type three system. So do you understand the different, different, the, how big this space is and how different companies can perhaps tackle specific set of, uh, of, of types of disease, you know, something along those lines, you definitely want to look into that and around this cast line over here doing type two disease, uh, sorry, type two system. And you see here the function of DN DNA nuclease. So, and then this cast 13, right? Cast 13. So some interesting information here. This is again, all very specific, very, very, um, you, you gotta understand some of these terms. Absolutely. You know, you can't just be, just reading this paper for the first time and understand every single term that's being used. But this is why you have Google. This is why you have other YouTubers. This is why you have communities like Twitter. You just ask questions, you get answers. And generally the people in this space will definitely answer your questions. As long as you know, you, you sort of do your own uh, step zero, which is like try to find, use Google, right? So very interesting. So what I'm going to do here is, well, I highlighted something here. So blend plant biotechnology, right? So according to a report published in Global Hunger Index 2019, the increasing climate change impact food systems, weather related disasters, reduced crop yield and excess carbon dioxide generation decreases the nutritional value of crops. To combat food scarcity, 
agricultural productions must be enhanced by the combination of traditional plant breeding, whole genome editing, and innovative techniques such as molecular plant breeding, targeted genome editing, right? And specific genome editing. So, first of all, I do want to mention for anyone that doesn't, isn't aware, you know, our, our crops and our vegetation and our plants and our foods, many of them already have some sort of enhancement done to them, right? So, we look at tomatoes, right? Tomatoes are not supposed to be big, big red tomatoes, right? And bananas, they don't actually look the way they currently look. So, I highly advise any of you to just go on Google image and, you know, just type in a real banana before added enhancement or tomato, right? You'll see very, very different, right? Um, and this is already being done in the industry, right? And this makes sense. This has been done for decades, right? This, uh, you need to feed people around the world and you need to reduce the amount, you need to increase productivity and efficiency. And one way of doing that is to basically, you know, use biotech, plant biotechnology, that's how they call it. So, and, and this is what they're mentioning here. And they're talking about how, you know, you have fruits and vegetables, you know, making more, them more commercially attractive, you have quality of crops and rice and corn, you have, uh, yeah, so increase in grain size, weight, number of protein content. Very, these are uh, improvements that may look small, but on the large, the large scale of things, like in the big, big picture, they're very, very big, right? They can, they can feed many, many communities, right? They can feed better communities. Uh, it's better for the lives of people, right? Again, as long as they're safe and everything has been tested and we've, we've talked about this, you know, the, process, the processes to get any of these types of enhancement done takes long, many, many years, right? In, 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 in average, so just keep that in mind. Um, so this paper really, you know, doubles down on the fact that it's not just about human therapeutics, you know, we're talking about rice, tomato, grapefruits, you know, there's, there's so much we can do. We can reduce the amount of diseases on these types of plants slash foods that can sort of enhance our ability to provide food, especially in this world where global warming, uh, climate change is a serious topic and it is affecting crops around the world and less crops mean less food on people's plates. Um, and this is not just going to happen in less developed nation, definitely in a um, first world nation, however you want to call them. Uh, it, it is going to happen. It's already been happening, right? You see food prices being raised. Obviously, this is due to inflation and other reasons, but just keep that in mind, right? There's this, this, um, this technology that we've talked about, you know, I, I, we've made some mentions in the past, but just know that, you know, there's so much, so much space to this. Um, there's so much room for innovation and the applications like the paper mentioned, the applications are quote unquote endless. So keep that in mind. And then here the application CRISPR-Cas plant biotechnology. They're talking about all the crops of apple, banana, cotton, flax, potato, rice, and you see all the targeted gene. And you can see how specific you know this this table is, right? It's not just hey we can tackle you know potato, right? It tells you exactly the targeted gene. The editing process, specifically what type of process it is, is the gene knockout, is the gene insertion and replacement, is the gene mutation, mutations. So this specifically, and then they give you the results, right? And you can see herbicide resistance, you can see different uh, results here, and then they link you even to a paper. And again, there's so many papers out there covering some of these um, specific applications, and this paper just like basically, and um, basically just like you know balloons everything and just give provides you all these papers and nice tables and graphs so highly advise you guys again once again to review this paper on your own put some time into it uh, hopefully today you know a lot of people have off today so if it's not today maybe you know knock out like an hour or two on a, on a Monday night I think you guys will definitely find a value to these types of papers so again, these are the prospects in plant gene editing and then talking about, you know, how CRISPR-Cas9, what it can do, you know, it can affect plant breeding. We're looking at, you know, increased global food security, right? We're talking about important applications that can increase, just increase the populations, right, of food, 
um, especially with the food, uh, sorry, especially with the increasing, ever increasing population around the world, you definitely want to overcome food scarcity, right? This is something that I haven't really mentioned a lot, but um, I think in 2021, the fact that we still have many, many people around the world, millions of people around the world, especially in less developed nations that are going to bed hungry every night, uh, some of them are dying because of it. Some of them cannot live to their fullest. I think this is a great strategy in our era. Uh, as much as I love our smartphones, as much as I love the computer advancements, as much as I love the whole movement, for example, with Tesla and electrical vehicles on the car, those are big, big innovations, very much needed. Um, and it's always great to move forward in those types of technologies. But the fact that we haven't been able to address some of these issues uh, in our communities, in our society, I think it's a great strategy. And I think some of these companies that we've uh, covered so far, they do exactly that, right? They want to cover human diseases and then hopefully other companies uh, can also enter in this space. You know, I was taking it like a really hot take, you know, you don't have to like find, found, you know, you don't have to be like a, a startup company that, you know, uses this technology and tackles like, for example, all the rice, uh, application the side of things right or potato or whatever i think it could be like a company like beyond meat where you sort of invest in these types of technologies um and you build partnerships the same way vertex has built partnerships and you know regeneron and so on these big pharma companies they build partnership with these uh, genome editing companies right the same way this is being done, the way I envision things is these big companies in the public market that, that are worth billions and billions of dollars could perhaps, you know, buy a stake or invest in some of those companies that are in this space currently. So that's how I see things. This is a big, big hot take. You know, this is speculation. I, I, I don't have insider information, not at all, but just know that, you know, this is how I see the space evolving, right? This is how I speed this this space currently, and I see the space evolving. So definitely, um, definitely, I didn't want to mention that. So let's go back a little bit now. Again, there's so much uh, specific data being pulled here. They talk about you know how you know SARS-CoV-2. There's deadly outbreaks, two million confirmed deaths, right? They're talking about the recent pandemic, and they're talking about how these types of disease could always happen in the future. And we've mentioned that we've made um, many comments on that in the past as well. And you want to sort of prepare for that. You want to be ready for that. And you want to be uh, structurally, um, structurally confident about tackling these types of disease. You don't want to go into the unknown. And I truly don't believe, you know, having many lockdowns and staying at home. This is not the right way of pr approaching things, right? We have technology for a reason. Technology is supposed to improve the lives of people as we go forward, right? We've con we've done enormous progress in the recent decades, but there's so much work to be done. And th this is why I truly believe these, these types of companies that we, we talked about in this channel, they're truly revolutionary. So and you see here, Several animal models such as chicken, cow, goats, and pigs are constructed by CRISPR to form biomodels to study humans and animal lifestyle. The ever-increasing demands of organs will also be reduced by these biomodels. So interesting updates, right? On this paper, they talk about it. And then obviously they give a table six, table six of this document. They talk about all these types of diseases, right? We'll just name a few of them, right? Hearing loss, right? Big, big issue in today's, in today's, uh, in today's environment, we have all of our AirPods and headphones on every single day, especially the newer generation. Uh, this is this is a big issue, right? So imagine CRISPR addressing this issue, right? So then you have obviously uh, cystic fibrosis, which we 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 even see some of these uh, companies have in their pipeline, and obviously the other one as well, the MD, hemophilia, B and A, uh, beta telecemia, obviously sickle cell disease. And some of these companies are already attacking some of these diseases. So nothing new here, but just know that look at this list of uh, disease, cancers. You know, there's so many tumors being tackled here. HIV, we took a look at the potential market for just HIV. Uh, so, so many, so many diseases. And it's not just about knowing what disease you can potentially address. It's also just the fact they can specifically tell you the targeted gene and give you the editing process and hopefully like the result. 
this shows you this this is not just you know pretty a pretty table stating you know what what is the hopeful future research we're looking at research that's already been done right and uh, even some companies have already cured some of these diseases like sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia such as CRISPR therapeutics they basically healed all 10 patients so far so they're basically just monitoring for side effects and um, f f everlasting impact but that's where we are right now in this space so and gene editing technologies facilitate the eradication of human diseases big big statement right big 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 statement just eliminate them it's not just about reducing it's not just about minimizing it's not just about making the side effects less significant it's completely eradicating right remove these diseases right these genetic diseases that are causing that are causing every single day every single minute people are dying around the world not just in in specific regions of the world even in more developed nation this is a big problem human therapeutics this is what some of these companies are tackling this is a big big problem and you know you see here a similar study conducted in 2018 CRISPR crashed an entire population of mosquitoes passing in fertility for a dozen generations using gene driving uh, this is actually a really nice Netflix uh, series about CRISPR ter um, just CRISPR in general gen genome editing it's even the moving PBS I think it's called human nature or something along those lines they sort of talk about this example here um, and there's a big discussion. I highly advise you guys to watch those uh, if you have some time uh, tonight or sometime this week. Definitely do watch those. If you did, leave me a comment in the description. Let me know how you guys found that those uh, that Netflix series and even the PBS um, documentary. So again, this is here table seven: the application of CRISPR Cas in the food industry. You see all this uh, these. Um, applications in the food industry specifically so very very interesting right I'm not gonna start naming all of them there's so many of them and, but you know try to get wrap your head around it right try to understand when we mentioned that you know this technology is more than just like one specific disease or one or it's more you know for a naked and I investor he looks at this space looks at the genomic space looks at gene editing he's like no, you know what I'm just gonna invest in RG fund I don't want to you know I don't want to boggle my mind with all this information, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. I think it's the, a, a safer bet, and I think it's a responsible bet for sure. But if you have some time, if you put some time into it, if you sort of understand the technologies being used, if you understand the nuances, and if you are confident, and I, again, this is not financial advice, so uh, do your own research. But if you do did your own research, I truly believe there's an opportunity here to look at these companies like Beam Therapeutics, CRISPR Therapeutics, um, and Telia, right? You look at these companies and then you keep your eyes open in the space, right? It's not just, you know, investing and just stepping away, you know, try to understand what's going on in this space. There's so much, so many new papers being published every single day. Uh, it's new papers being published, companies adopting new technologies such as, such as Antilia with base editing. And, you know, what will CRISPR therapeutics do then? Will they adopt base uh, editing? So very interesting to see what's going on. And then this paper goes on to give some bold predictions, right? Uh, predicted human population will reach 9.6 billion, 60% higher demand for stable crops, right? So this is a big, big issue that's coming into our way. So we definitely wanna we wanna position ourselves, right? This is uh, in companies, you know, when you work at a company, this is what you do, right? You, you're you're not just reactive. You wanna be proactive, right? You wanna set these uh, these. Um, these fundamentals right in your company to address some of these uh, issues that may occur in the future so this is the same thing for communities and societies right governments are looking into this we talked about like India being involved in this paper many governments around the world they see their population increasing significantly and food scarcity is an issue currently and it will be a bigger issue in the future if nothing is done so this is this is something that you know the way you guys see climate global climate change like climate like the whole space of climate change the same it is affecting crops right it is affecting diseases right more people are going to get cancer because of, you know the the we're looking at you know the uvs and we're looking at the weather we're looking at um uh the emissions right you see breeding issues with people uh, these these are just gonna keep going right and as much as you can tackle the changing dirty energy into green energy 
you're gonna do something about the humans and other living beings on the planet living in this these weather conditions right you gotta do something about it so keep that in mind and then they're, they're putting some really nice graphs here talking about how the application genome editing is from the world have been increasing but very slowly right very slowly but you do see it right in the past 10 years from 2019 to 2019 it increased about roughly a little bit less than four percent right so um it's still still a big big increase right from 8.3 percent to 12 1 percent so the growth is slow but i truly believe especially in this graph you see here crispr is being used in public publication in pubmed we talked about this this more and more publication being done and it's just increasing and you can you know i'm not sure if you can really make the association that has crispr is increasing the other ones are also decreasing but that's how it looks so far so let's see how this trend keeps going for the following years but this is a big big uh, play right so we talked about how it will take numerous of years to get this thing uh, this technology really adopted commercially around the world to address many of these human diseases many of these plants um, diseases you know plant biotechnology this is years away but not that long right we talked about how dr sam envisions a world where we tackle ta cancer in the next three years right which is very soon you know this is going to go really fast and cpx 001 from CRISPR therapeutics when it is approved once it's approved you'll see enormous progress you'll see a lot more investors pouring in their money because they're aware that this technology is for real it's not just pretty research papers it's not just pretty clinical trials this is going mass market there's a business model around it uh, and then you see you'll see analysts just come um to come all, all over the space right and and here i uh, due to universal T crispr will probably be applied we're pro probability will probably okay there's, there's a typo here but will probably be also applied in animals to increase muscle mass reduce disease improve vitality so applications are endless guys applications are endless you definitely want to look into this uh this paper and then talk about what happened in china uh, I, I will not cover that um, for today's video, but you know, feel free to look into that yourself. And then you know, they end this uh, paper with a really nice um, graphics here. I could probably just summarize a whole paper just by looking at this graphic. That's why I love images. Uh, but you can see here it, we we tackle not just the food industry and biotechnology, but livestock. We're looking at you know, control bacterial disease, viral diseases. Right? We talk about the pandemic drug discovery developments we talk about those partnerships we have with vertex and so on biofuels production right uh they're putting like this is this looks like a tesla and spacex but it is what it is just keep that in mind there's even a section over that so feel free to look into that so genetic diseases obviously some of these companies are already covering this so guys i i i think this paper is really great i, I really advise you guys to look over it um put some time into it try to be you know try to raise awareness right there was a, one great tweet tweet i read i think yesterday or two days ago it was something about um you know we, we shouldn't be focused on a one particular company uh, we should just be focused on the whole space of gene editing right uh because this will increase awareness and sort of attract investors in this space and then eventually these companies will all benefit right it's not a it's not a zero-sum game right there will be many many winners uh, because the applications are quote unquote endless right so we'll end this video like this uh thank you very much for watching i really really appreciate the feedback i'm getting guys um again do like and subscribe leave a comment uh it really really helps this channel and it helps the community uh again the mission of this channel is just to raise awareness of this space so that hopefully we can attract investors um even people that are not currently aware of this space you know they can just maybe you know learn a thing or two and sort of you know uh follow the the uh follow the trail and then hopefully learn more about it and then pull the trigger and um, ultimately invest in it and then share that information along uh with their communities so thank you very much uh, i'll end this video like this and hopefully you guys have a great great uh, monday and a great week thank you very much mm -hmm.